Hi there. My name is Dr. Burke Mays. I'm a practicing chiropractor here at Pathways Chiropractic Center located in the West Metro area of Minneapolis, St. Paul. And I'm here today sharing with you how we successfully address chronic knee conditions with patients here in our office. And because if you're watching this, either you or somebody that you know is dealing with chronic knee issues and you're considering uh, having knee replacement surgery. And I want to let you know that there are options to, to knee, knee replacement surgery. Even if you've been told that it's bone on bone, even if you're told it's in a really rough shape, there are options to either avoid it completely or significantly prolong how long you have, have until, you, until you have to have it. See, the important thing to know is that not all repl knee replacements work. You know, they don't work at a 100% level. You know, it's not a simple surgery, it's complex, they have to cut chunks of bone out, they have to hammer implants into inside the bone. It's a really, frankly, brutal surgery. And the rehab is very arduous and very painful, and also, but really critical to, to do. So, you know, patients really have to push through it. And there's also, there's a really high risk of infection. I mean, I had a patient about 10 years ago, he opted to have both knees replaced, which they don't recommend much anymore. And he had the misfortune of both knees got infected. They had to take the implants out, let him recover, then put the implants back in. Really arduous, painful situation. And lastly, you know, knee replacements wear out. You know, they're, they're predicted to last about 10 to 15 years. So if, you, if you're a younger person and you plan on living to an old age, you might be looking at multiple surgeries and multiple knee replacement surgeries. So in this video today, I'm going to talk about some of the mechanisms about, about how knee issues develop and then what we do about it. And at the very end, I'm going to share with you the exact next step that you can take to start getting to, to uh, how you can address your knee issues. So one of the first questions you need to ask is, how did your knee get this way? How did it happen? And I'm going to talk about these in a little more detail, but here's a really big point to wrap your head around. The fact that your knee hurts and you have a knee problem doesn't mean you have a problem in your knee. You have a, bu a bunch of other problems that ended up in your knee. And I'll expand more about this as we go along here, but I just want you to imagine. You know, you're, if, you're, if you're in a good spot, you stand up. If you can't stand up, just use your imagination. But I just want you to stand up with your legs nice and straight, and then take one foot, take your right foot, and if you have it kind of flat on the ground, just roll it in. Roll it on the inside edge of your foot. And just notice what happens to your ankle joint and your knee joint and your hip joint. Notice the stress that's happening there. So imagine that you're walking around all day long and you have a foot that isn't functioning the perfect way that it is. Maybe you have a flat foot, maybe you have a hyperpronation, or you know, whatever the situation might be. You might not even have knee pain or foot pain, but you just walk around with little ongoing postural distortions in your foot as you walk, and that's going to put stress on that knee, causing those tissues to break down. You know, the same idea applies up in the hip and the pelvis. If you stand there and kind of cock one hip to one side, you can, if you pay attention, you can feel the stress in that knee. And if you're walking around with a postural distortion like that, you're going to have that ongoing stress in that area leading to breakdown and degeneration. You know, muscles. I'm going to talk more about muscles in a few minutes here. But muscles are really important not only to have your body move, but they are shock absorbers. And I'll expand on this in a couple minutes. Um, spine, nervous system, having a good functioning nervous system to control all the muscles around that joint as you're moving and walking. Um, brain function, I'm going to expand on that a little bit. And also metabolism. You know, if you are, let's just say hypothetically, you're living a toxic environment, guess what? We all do. Your body uses sulfur compounds to help break down toxins and eliminate them. And what's a great source of, of uh, sulfur compounds in your body? Joint cartilage. So often your body will be, will be metabolizing and using your joint cartilage to actually try and heal and recover. And I'll talk more about some other issues with that in a few minutes. So, that, so common areas where knee problems start to develop from are your feet, muscles, hips and pelvis, spine, brain, and metabolic issues. So when we look at a patient, we do, a, uh, we do what I call our, our, our knee examination. We'll do some standard stuff, your standard orthopedic tests, but we look for some real specifics. I check 11 muscles, one tendon, and what we call large di diameter afferents. You know, muscles we check. Popliteus, which is a muscle in the very back of the knee that helps lock the knee, helps stabilize the knee, and also initiates motion of knee flexion. 
Um, your TFL is actually a muscle right up here, right on the side of your hip, and then has a tendon, runs on the side of your leg, attaches to the knee. Quadriceps, the big muscles in the front. Adductors, the muscles on the inside. Your glutes, your hamstrings, four major foot and, uh, foot and ankle stabilizers, total of 11 muscles. And also the infrapatellar tendon, which is the tendon below the, below the kneecap and attaching to the top of your, top of your shin. I'm checking those, I'm looking for point, point tenderness and muscle strength and coordination. Large diameter air, air fan, afferents, those are the nerves that travel from your body up into your brain, up into your spinal cord, and they carry lots of information, in particular vibration and postural information. And when they go in, they connect into part of your spinal cord called a, a lamina 2. And that's responsible for pain sensation. So if you're having issues with good information traveling through those nerves, not getting that information going in, you're going to have balance issues, muscle control issues, and since it's not turning down the pain perception, you're going to feel more pain in your body. A simple test will do. We'll, we'll get a, a tuning fork, 128 megahertz tuning fork. We'll put it on your collarbone. We'll call that a 10. I'll put it down on the tip of your toe. It should feel the same. I've had patients say it's like a, you know, compared to the collarbone, it's a five, it's a two, it's a seven. You know, they've lost 30 to 80 percent of the nerve function down, down the lower extremities, and that's a problem. And we need to rehab that, you know, because if we don't rehab that neural connection, we're not going to win the game of stabilizing and rehabbing that knee, and that takes time. And by the way, I, sco I scooted by that. But when I work with a patient in our office, I expect to see results in one to three visits. Not fixed, not healed, but results. Like we see a change happening. Maybe it's temporary. Maybe it's you can walk with less pain or squat with less pain. And then we have to continue to rehab and rebuild that. But I'm looking for things to happen very quickly. Things that we do in our office, we call my five point knee, knee protocol. We start out with brain balancing therapies. This is a specific chiropractic approach utilizing chiropractic, functional neurology, applied kinesiology, and several other techniques and modalities to observe, interpret, and most importantly, alter brain-body brain function, brain-body connection. This is where I want to expand a bit on, on some things, a really important part. You know, as, as humans, as plants, as you know, animals, we all have to deal with gravity. And we've adapted a really efficient system to deal with that. When we're up standing and moving around, our muscles act like big shock absorbers to absorb that force of gravity. Now, every time you take a step, you come down your heel, you run around seven to 800 pounds of force, travels up your leg at about 250 miles an hour. Those muscles have to, be big, have to act like shock absorbers, and that requires very good brain and nerve, nerve coordination. So if there is something imp impeding that feedback back and forth, now those muscles don't kick in as efficiently. Now they don't absorb that force and absor absorb that stress. Now that force goes into other tissues, smaller muscles that, that fatigue and get tired easily. Or worse yet, the, the, the tissues of the joint, the, the, uh, the meniscus, the ligaments, the cartilage, all start to take a beating and they start to break down. So the role, one of the roles we look at is that good feedback back and forth between your brain and your body. If you look at this, just this is a real simple diagram. Information comes in from one side of your body into part of your brain called the cerebellum, which coordinates all of it, sends it up the other side of your brain, and it comes down and tells your body what to do. And if that's happening normally, we have good function. If there has been some sort of interference with it, that's a big conversation, but it can be old injuries, it can be issues with the spine, it can be changes with the brain that's not going to be a good circuit. So information comes in, it's either not normal information, say you have an old injury, or the brain's changed and doesn't send out good information. And however, however it shows up, it's kind of garbage in, garbage out. Now your body doesn't start to work as efficiently as it should. Because what we can see is if there is a change in your brain, we're going to see a change in your body and vice versa. And this is also another really big point in the area of rehab. If you've had an injury, whether it's an acute uh, injury or a chronic injury, there's brain changes. So even once that area is healed to a certain degree, that brain is very slow to change. And that's actually the key part of rehab is re-coordinating and, and improving the brain function so then the body's... <coughs> <coughs> so 
So a really critical point is we need to address the brain function so that that controls the body efficiently and appropriately so you can deal with the forces of gravity. You see, input comes in, processed by your brain, and then gets sent up by another part of your brain, and that's really the basic you know, uh, level of injury change. Things start to happen right up in here. We'll talk more about that when we deal with what we actually do with it when we, ha when we have injuries. Point number two we use is we're, we're, on, we're one of the few clinics, in fact I can say this, we're one of under 400 chiropractic clinics in the country and I'm one of three here in the state using what's called Hakamed therapy. And Hakamed therapy is one of the most advanced electrical therapies uh, in existence right now. So if you've been to a physical therapy and you know had, had electrical stem done there, it's not this. And this is a $25,000 machine and I say that not to impress you but to impress upon you that you know, you're not, if you've gone anyplace else, you're not getting this. It's highly refined, highly developed, and what it is, is in your body, communication happens two different ways, bioelectrically and biochemically. And whether it's cells or in bone, or in muscles, or ligaments, or tendons, or nerves, communication happens by way of electrical currents and chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. And when that cellular communication is impaired, then problems start to develop and disease can ha ha start to happen and pain can occur and the normal functional state is lost. And this causes further breakdown, so it's just a, it's a constant cycle going, going downwards. And up until now, you, we could address either bioelectric or biochemical, separate devices, separate times. There's nothing to do with them at the same time. And with horizontal therapy, both bioelectric and biochemical components are addressed at the same time for much more efficient healing and much, um, a much greater enhancement of communication between your cells and your tissues. You know, another big thing we do is called rapid release therapy. You know, scar tissue is a really big deal. When you have an injury, you develop scar tissue. It's either inside the muscle itself or it's in between muscle groups, we call it adhesions. Either way, that impedes and impairs muscle function and blood flow and nervous communication. So scar tissue is you know, either temporary or old. It has to be dealt with because it can start to spread. You, know, you get one little piece of scar tissue, it spreads throughout the muscle and it starts to cause pain, can cause numbness, can start the traction on nerves. It can alter the ability of those muscles to function efficiently and protect you from shock and gravity. And undiagnosed pain and restricted mobility are often a big part of knee pain and also a big part in connection with having scar tissue in that area. And obviously if you had knee surgery, by the way, you have lots of scar tissue, but you just have, just have little stuff that's gonna impact the knees. So rapid release technology targets these adhesion areas with resonance, it's a heavy vibration, works at a certain frequency for maximum effectiveness. And also, this frequency triggers what's called the tonic vibration reflex, or the TVR. This is well known to instantly relax muscles and you know, protects against cramps and muscle spasms. I mean, I'll have with people, I'll be muscle testing them, and their system is so, um, so frankly, so messed up that I do a little muscle test and they have huge cramps and huge spasms. That tells me that's, you know, that's a big part of the equation. So, um, this operates very rapidly, releases things very quickly, and the good news is it feels good, by the way. ARP wave therapy. This is another patented waveform electrical device we use in our office. This is about a $20,000 machine. Once again, I don't say this to impress you, but remind you that there's lots of knockoffs out there, and, and almost all of them are not this. I think I've come across one other device that might come close to this, but it wasn't doing the same thing. ARP wave therapy allows us to further break down scar tissue, an important part. This deals with the electrical charge of scar tissue to help, help it release. And when you release scar tissue, you increase blood flow. Blood flow is important because it takes away all the products of the injury, brings in the building blocks to heal and recover the area. Two things that no other things do, other devices I have, it stops the compensation. And what that means is when you've had an injury, you start to move differently and that different movement creates stress on joints and body and tissues. So there's a way we, cut, we do this, we call this, frankly, it's called search and destroy, where we can find the initial part of the injury that is causing the compensation pattern leading to a problem in a different area. 
It's kind of a fun way to do it. And then when we do that, then we start to rehab that movement to correct it. Strengthens weak and inhibited muscles. Obviously, if there's a structurally weak muscle, we're going to get strength back. When, this, when the ARP wave is working, it's sending very specific frequencies into the muscles, getting a very deep workout into those particular muscles. But also, too, you can have inhibited muscles where the nervous system is turn, turned down, not giving the proper nerve supply. Those muscles don't work as efficiently. This will turn them back on and reactivate them. Decreases pain, relaxes muscle. All good things to help support knee, knee re rehab. Metabolic support. I touched on this earlier, but you need to have the proper environment to heal. If you have inflammation issues, blood sugar issues, um, poor liver function, I touched on that earlier with, with the sulfur compounds and the detox. Um, adrenals, listen, if you live in a stressful environment, which most of our world is these days, and you're not taking adequate time to recover and giving your body the building blocks that you need to recover, a big thing that happens is ligaments weaken. Ligaments are the last line of defense to protect an injured area. So if those ligaments start to weaken, you're much more prone to being injured. We also look at other metabolic factors also, but those are the big parts. So if you look at this, what's next? I told you at the beginning, I would tell you your next step. If you're interested in eliminating your knee pain or reducing your knee pain without drugs, without surgery, give us a call. Call my office, 763-600-1682. You can email me at drmays, M-A-Y-S, at askdrmays.com. Or you can just PM me um, on the Facebook link that we have here. You can just go to askdrmays.com. I'll come up. You can put personal message me. And when you do, ask for the free knee pain evaluation. You'll come in. We'll give you a, a, a courtesy evaluation. We'll have you come back a second visit. We'll explain to you what we can do. We'll actually give you a treatment as a courtesy so you can see what we do and see if it's the right thing for you. You know, we've helped a lot of people in our office with chronic pain, with peripheral neuropathy. And if you decide to come to our office and see us, and if we accept you as a patient, and by the way, we only accept patients that we think we can help, then we'd love to see you. So once again, how to reach me, it's Dr. Burke Mays, 763-600-1682, uh, ask DR Mays at, uh, um, so DR Mays at askdrmays.com, or PM me at Facebook at Ask Dr. Mays. Well, I look forward to you, um, thank you for watching this, and I hope it was helpful, and if this is the right place for you, I look forward to the opportunity to serve you in the future. Have a healthy, happy day. Thank you.